What's up everyone, GKT here with another episode of Vita Talk where I talk about all things PlayStation Vita. It's been a while since I've had an official Vita Talk video, but today we're going to talk a little bit about the Vita retail release schedule and some little news and notes I've picked up along the way. First though, I want to take a moment and thank everyone for all of the support on the channel and sticking around. It's been absolutely amazing all of the feedback that I get and it really makes me feel like you guys appreciate my video. So I just wanted to take a moment out of this Vita Talk and just let you guys know how much that really means to me and thank you guys for that. You guys are watching some gameplay footage of a newly released game called Guacamelee on the PlayStation Store. It costs about 15 bucks US, but I think it's only 12 bucks if you're a PlayStation Plus member, which hopefully you are because as we discussed in previous Vita Talks, PlayStation Plus is awesome. And it's going to take up about 320 megs on your SD card. Guacamelee is brought to us by Drinkbox Studios, the same team that did Tales from Space Mutant Blobs Attack. Anyone who's followed my channel knows that I love Tales from Space. It was one of my PlayStation Network Game of the Year nominees, and it was one of my top 5 Vita launch window titles as well. So I was obviously excited to delve into their latest offering. Guacamelee is another 2D side-scrolling platformer, though it is quite a bit different from Tales. I've seen many people compare it to Metroid, Super Metroid style on the Super Nintendo, and after a few hours with it, I can definitely see the comparisons. I'm not sure if it's going to have the same depth as those classics, but one thing is for sure that the game is filled with the same charm and silliness that made Tales from Space such an endearing joy to play. I'm not going to get too much into Guacamelee, I'm going to save that for my full review which should be up in a few days. Beyond that though, there isn't a whole lot going on in Vita Land these days, especially from the retail perspective. Looking at the retail release schedule for the Vita, things are really thin in the coming months, which is why the indie style PSN games like this are so vital from keeping your Vita from collecting dust. There are some real gems to be found in between the big retail releases. In terms of retail news and releases, we do have one big game coming at the end of the month, and that's Soul Sacrifice. I've got two days off of work, so you guys can expect full coverage of everything Soul Sacrifice on the release day and the day after. Also this week, we learned that there's going to be a Batman Arkham Origins game released for the Vita and 3DS coming at the end of October. I went ahead and took that day off of work as well, just in case we get something special, but anytime I see a simultaneous release with the 3DS, I'm generally a little hesitant to get my hopes up. Had this been an original Batman game developed from the ground up solely for the Vita by Rocksteady, you guys probably wouldn't even be able to recognize me because I would sound like a giddy little schoolgirl. Even so, it's still something to keep your eye on as we get closer to the fall. That's it for this episode of Vita Talk. As always, leave your comments down below and let me know what you guys want to talk about. Let me know if you picked up Guacamelee, are you interested in it? And stay tuned for the full review in the next few days and full Soul Sacrifice coverage later in the month. And that's it guys, thanks for watching, take care.